Hello, Mr. Grimes here, uh, bringing you another video. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, multi-step equations. And when we get into multi-step equations, we can also involve equations that have uh, variables on both sides of the equation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a two-part video. <clears throat> the first video here, I'm going to mainly be talking about uh, how to work a multi-step equation. Now. Uh, the thing about a multi-step equation is, is that you're ultimately wanting to get back down to a two-step equation which we know how to solve. So we need to get it to something that's familiar to us. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Now the steps that I usually take when we uh, do multi-step equations, it kind of looks like a two-step, but you're going to see very quickly that uh, it's not really a two-step. So in step one, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to simplify each side of the equation. Now, me, I would usually simplify the left side and then simplify the right side. So uh, it's up to you on how you do that. Just make sure you do each side. Uh, this in general means that we're going to first do distributive property if applicable and then secondly combine like terms. In the next step we're going to make sure that we collect the variables on one side of the equation. And then finally, work the uh, two step equation that we have. or the uh, one-step equation, whichever one it may be, okay? Because in some problems, we may go straight from multi-step straight to one-step, <clears throat> okay? So let's look at a couple of examples of what we're talking about here, okay? Um, let's try this one, okay? This is an example of a multi-step. X minus 1 plus 1 equals 7. Now, the way that I teach everybody to work it out is I always put a line through the equal sign to separate the left side from the right side. And now, we're going to start off with simplifying each side of the equation. How can we make this side simple? Well, we can combine like terms here. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Can we simplify it even more? Well, yes. Anything plus 0 is itself, so x plus 0 would be x. We would get x equals 7. So notice this one didn't even get to a, a two-step equation or a single-step equation. It went straight to the answer. That can happen as well. Uh, let's look at another one. Um, v minus 6V equals 5. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to simplify each side of the equation. What can we do to simplify this? Well, V and V, these are like terms, so we combine like terms. This would be like 1v, okay? So if we have a v and we take away 6v's, that means we have negative 5v's. Can anything else be done to simplify this? No, there's not. How about the right side? Can it be simplified? No. So we have done step one and we have simplified both sides of the equation. 
Now we need to collect the variables on one side of the equation, which conveniently for us on this problem, it's already done. So now the last step is to just solve the single step or the, or the two step or the single step equation. In this case, it's a single step. Negative five is multiplying V, so in order to undo that, we have to divide by negative five. What we do on the left, we do on the right. Negative five divided by negative five is a one, so we can cross those out, leaving us with one times V, which is V. Five divided by five is one. Positive divided by a negative is a negative one. Okay. Let's try a problem now that involves maybe some distributed property. Okay, uh, let's do six times four X plus five equals negative 90. Okay, so um, in this problem, we need to first simplify each side of the equation. This side can be simplified through distributive property. I didn't put down property. All right, so we're going to distribute 6 into this parenthesis. So we got 6 times 4x is 24x. 6 times positive 5 is positive 30. Is there anything else we can do on this side to simplify it? This is an x. This is just an integer. They are not like terms, so we can't combine like terms. We're done with this side. Can we simplify negative 90? No, we can't. So now, at this point right here, this is a two-step equation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo this addition. So instead of adding, we're going to subtract. 30 minus 30 is 0, so we can X those out, bringing down the 24X. Negative 90 minus 30 is negative 120. Now the final step is to divide by 24 on both sides. What you do on the left, you do on the right. 24 divided by 24 is 1, leaving us with X and negative 120 divided by 24, 120 divided by 24 is, uh, what is that, 5, and a negative divided by a positive is a negative. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Uh, as I said, I'm going to do a second video here, and it's going to be on uh, multi-step equations with variables on both sides. See you then.